week brought the 60th anniversary of the accession of Queen Elizabeth II to the throne. The British nation is preparing for a year of glorious celebration of the Diamond Jubilee and with Prince William and his bride, already the darlings of the media, the future of the monarchy seems secure. With me to analyse the enduring allure of royalty are the DUP MP Geoffrey Donaldson and in London Graham Smith from the campaign group Republic. You're both very welcome to the programme. Graham Smith, the group Republic has been banging the Republican drum for 30 years but making very little impact in this year of jubilee when you see the nation on the brink of such celebration do you feel like giving up well no i mean republic was formed in 83 but it, for, in terms of actually being a, an active campaigning group it's been going for about five or six years it was relaunched about five or six years ago as a, an actual um, campaigning pressure group um, and you know last year uh, when the media were getting into a bit of a frenzy around the royal wedding um, our supporter numbers rocketed, um, you know, from the day that the wedding was announced through to the day of the wedding itself. Uh, we saw um, an increase of more than 100% of uh, our supporters. We now got over 20,000 supporters um, UK-wide, and that is now growing again as we build up to the Jubilee. But all the polls still show overwhelming support for the monarchy. I mean, one done last year, looking even to the accession of King Charles, only 13% of people said they'd prefer to see the monarchy go than have King Charles. Well, that poll was um, hugely misleading in the way it was questioned. Poll, a poll that came out um, one week before the wedding um, from ICM uh, showed 26% of the population thought we'd be better off without the uh, monarchy. So, um, you know, the, the, the bulk of people that, we, uh, that were polled around that time also said that they weren't interested in the wedding. So whilst most people still, um, you know, given a choice, would say, well, let's keep what we've got, um, it isn't the same sort of unalloyed, uh, you know, love for the monarchy that you would have seen 30 years ago. Geoffrey Donaldson, do you agree that there is a swell of uh, republicanism in the country at large? I do think there is, and uh, I think support for the monarchy is holding very strong. When you consider that even Alex Salmond, who wants to uh, make Scotland independent, uh, wants to retain the monarchy uh, and the link with the monarchy, even in the event of an independent Scotland, it shows just how popular the monarchy is right across the United Kingdom. Thomas Paine once called it uh, this exceedingly ridiculous composition. The point is, if you were starting today, you wouldn't invent a monarchy, would you? Well, it's a part of our tradition and our history. That's uh, the case. Uh, whether or not we would invent it today is not really the issue, frankly. People uh, are happy with the, the settled situation, our constitutional uh, status. The monarchy has served as well. The United Kingdom has enjoyed uh, centuries of stability when all around the world we've seen a lot of instability, uh, revolutions, coup d'etat and so on. Um, and I think we can be thankful that our head of state contributes towards the stability that the United Kingdom enjoys. Yeah. How do you counter that, uh, Graham Smith? Well, I mean, it, it doesn't contribute to the stability. The, the monarchies in Europe have survived in stable countries. It's not that the monarchies have caused the stability. It's that the stability has allowed the monarchies to survive. The point is, is that in this country, the monarchy is a fundamental part of our political um, uh, setup and our constitution. Um, and our constitution is uh, profoundly undemocratic. The British people have very little uh, input um, in the way our politics is um, managed. Uh, other than every five years we get a vote for less than half of our parliament. And, and in between uh, those elections, our government is enormously powerful in terms of domestic politics, um, and that power comes from the Crown. So it's much more than just the institution. It's to do with our entire political system. We want a, a system where we are genuinely uh, democratic, where the people have a genuine uh, say in our politics uh, right from the top uh, all the way down to the bottom. It is fundamentally anti-democratic, the whole notion of monarchy, Geoffrey Donaldson. Uh, that's a nonsense, Noel. If it was anti-democratic, why would the people tolerate it? Look, the reality is that the people, by their own will, uh, want to retain the monarchy. That is the situation. The yeah. people but, could... but it is an anti-democratic no, institution an by anti definition, because no, you not. don't vote for the king or queen. It's not anti-democratic when it's the will of the people, Noel. Democracy is about the exercise of the will of the people. And let me challenge this notion that somehow republics are stable. Look at every single conflict in the world today. Tell me how many of those conflicts are in countries where there's a monarchy and how many are in countries like Afghanistan um, where there is conflict. Well, um, and I think not, that you... I didn't is, interrupt you, yeah, 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 I'll let you come uh, back. Uh, and uh, you spoke Graham, at length. Don't worry. Mm. Um, 
You see, what Graham is more interested in doing is targeting 10 to 15 year olds who want to enter a cookery competition as part of the Diamond Jubilee. And he says it's against the law for a school uh, to allow its children to enter a cookery competition because um, it's not Republican. I mean, this is the kind of nonsense that Republic are coming out with. And so weak is their argument, they're now targeting school children. You know, the point is, Republics are. Uh, essentially, you know, republicanism is about being democratic and being having a system which is founded in the on the idea that of you know the sovereignty of the people. So that would be know, like the it, Republic it, of it, Syria, for example. No, well, no, precisely. Syria is oh, not right, a, no. Syria is not a republic. It is a dictatorship. A republic, no, it is a republic. No, sorry, a it's republic. a republic. It's got a president. Right, if you're going to keep so is Afghanistan. Yeah, 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 right, well, the, 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 the United States is a republic. I think so, we're getting the picture yeah. that, that uh, republics uh, and very often are unstable mm. um, situations. But not necessarily. I'm, I'm, so, right? I'm asking, I'm asking <laughs> sorry, Steve gonna, a simple gonna, question. Show me one monarchy where there is instability. Just if, you, if you're going to keep on interrupting me yeah. and, mm. and, and, and being rather obtuse, to, be, to put it bluntly, then we're not going to get very far. A republic is a um, country which is founded on democratic values. Syria is a dictatorship. And quite frankly, it is a monarchy because it is a, um, the fact that they call themselves president, they are a hereditary dictatorship. So, you know, it is as our country used to be 300 years ago. Mm. Now, um, Nepal, of course, was a monarchy. Um, and suffered uh, huge amounts of um, internal strife, and they are now a republic. There are, mu there are much fewer monarchies in the world, um, and therefore, clearly, there are going to be more um, non-monarchical countries that have uh, political problems. But, of course, Europe went through countless wars and revolutions as a direct result of the failure of monarchy in this, uh, on this continent. So, you know, it is a, a, a non-argument to suggest that uh, monarchies are more stable uh, than republics. It just simply is a complete nonsense from what, start to finish. What would your prognosis be for the end of the monarchy? What, what, what can you foresee? Look into your republic's crystal ball. A lot of the support that currently exists in the country for the monarchy is tied up with the Queen herself, and she's coming to the end of her life and the end of her reign. That's, and, and, you know, that's mm. the natural right. fact of, of the way this thing just, works. Just finish now, off, Jeff, the, no, I, I, we're going we're to run out of time. I just want to ask Geoffrey Donaldson very quickly, do you think the, the, the end of the Queen's reign will be in some way a presage, will in some way presage the end of the monarchy? Absolutely not, yeah. and there is no uh, evidence of that. I think that the monarchy will be here for a long time All to right. come. It adds real value to our nation, right. and people uh, cherish well, it. Gentlemen, we're going to have to leave it there. I'm very sorry. Thank you very much indeed.